2020. It's certainly been a crazy year, and as we hurtle towards Christmas, restrictions are almost certainly going to mean that Christmas is very different for all of us. I'm Chris MacDonald, and I'm a filmmaker from Liverpool. Over the past seven or eight months, most of my work has been postponed or cancelled as a result of the pandemic. This has left me with quite a lot of spare time, and as I turn my attention towards Christmas, usually my favourite time of year, I realise that maybe a lot of the things that we usually do just will not be possible. That got me thinking about all the good Christmases I've had, especially as a kid. If you're from Liverpool, then you will likely know that Santa lives on Kremlin Drive. You'll know this because as a child you will have definitely have visited his house or at least driven past it. Back in 2004 I was a student and, along with the help of my dad and a couple of mates from college, began to make my very first documentary on the Liverpool Santa Claus. I spent about seven months filming the process that Santa and his helper Stan Fullerton and his family go through every year to make Christmas super special for everybody in the city. Although I never got around to doing anything with the footage. And as technology moves on so fast, the 20 hours or so of videotape that I had just got stuffed in the box and put in the back room of my office, completely forgotten about. This is the story of an incredible man who created magic for many years around this special time of Christmas. And we begin the story in June of 2004. here was presented to me at the town hall they sent for me and I thought I didn't know what to expect I didn't know whether they were trying to tell me to sort of calm it down a bit or whether it was causing too much of a nuisance but it was just the opposite they were absolutely delighted and they presented me with this in a frame a picture of my own house so I was, I was delighted with that train running from this end to the other end and it comes back along uh, that's always the first to go up this glass panel comes down the other glass panel comes down we have a 12 foot Christmas tree standing here right up to that ball so it looks like the ball is spinning on the top of the tree we build all shelves up off the wall all this all this stuff comes off the, the shelves we box that off box it up and, and take it upstairs we put all the Christmas stuff up there, um, there's thousands of lights, I've got 82 fibre optic trees, um, 240 Father Christmases, that's where we have the nativity, I've already put the part of it up, we, put, we fill that up with straw, this is where Father Christmas sits at the night, um, this is all the snow and it's like a, like a, um, a cave effect going into here all done with ultraviolet ultraviolet light um, it looks totally different when i'm finished than what it does now at the time of filming stan was in his mid 60s and lives with his wife angela they've got a lovely family home which when we first visited appeared to be very normal as we started shooting stan's granddaughter was upstairs gathering the beginnings of the process to transform this normal house into something quite magical it's clear that stan is a proud grandfather and very much a family man. Although having heard his plans to transform this home into a grotto, I was just left wondering why. It first started in the Isle of Man, 1952 for the Queen's coronation, when I decorated the front of my mum's house. I was only 14 years of age, and I did it with fairy lights. You couldn't get outside fairy lights in them days. You can only get um, ordinary mains lights. And now when I think about what I did, I cringe, I was hanging, um, ordinary fairy lights outside the window and they uh, got away with it and we we won the best decorated house on the island as it turned out and I've had this fascination with fairy lights ever since. I don't think it's right that children the children should be charged to see Father Christmas so I do it here they can come in they come from all over the place and they come here and they can spend half an hour they can take their own videos their own photographs there's no charge and they can see the best father Christmas. So that's what it's all about. That's his 
arm sticking up, the big, the 32 foot card of Christmas, he's up there in, in four parts. That's his arm, that's his belly over there. He's been up there now so long, they're all the bloody plants grabbed hold of, of the ropes around if you have to sort of chop them, chop them out, you know. It was clear that Stan is a cracking bloke, and after my first visit, I was left on edge wanting to see the process he goes through. And what a journey I was about to witness. Excuse me, you're an imposter. Me? Yeah. Got a fire extinguisher on the stairs, so we've got all bases covered, like. Watch your step. Watch your step there, like that. Oh, it's lovely. Thank Keep it on. Thank you very much. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.